today we're going to be filming a beanie pastry kind of mushroomy pasta dish. Very tomatoey. And, and so what you're gonna need is three relatively big garlic cloves, one very small onion, as many mushrooms as you want, I'm using quite a lot. Uh, probably about that and a few of those. Um, quite a few toms, like maybe about half of that. Good amount of olive oil and what it, and pasta of choice. Also, I'm gonna want some chopped tomatoes, beans of your choice, and chickpeas. You can add lentils, but I'm not. So the onions and garlic are fried. I've added the mushrooms now. Oh. And everything's going well. So now I've chopped the tomatoes. I have very rainbow tomatoes. And just going to, to add them in. So now I've added the tomato. Smells really nice. And just going to fry it for a little bit longer. Then I'm going to add the chopped toms. So here's what I'm adding. Just going to add the chopped toms, then the beans and chickpeas. Here it is with of all the tomatoes, beans and chickpeas and everything. I'm going to add my spices now. So I've just added all our spices. We have, I might add more or less later depending on how, how good it tastes, but we have some basil, quite maybe about a teaspoon of that, quite a lot. A good bit of, of thyme, just a small pinch have a tablespoon of oregano, quite a lot, uh, a tiny bit of turmeric, I would have added a bit more but we were running out, uh, and mild chilli powder, <laughs> and some nutritional yeast in there for flavour. Then after letting that sit for a while we're going to fill up one of your cans with water, and just pour it in there. That's going to be for cooking the pasta in the same pan as food. food. That, you don't have to do that, but I recommend it. It makes the pasta very creamy and lovely. Now you're just going to want to wait for it to come to a boil, and then once that's at a boil, you can add your pasta of choice. Mine is some red lentil red lentil pasta fuzzly and then I also just have a, a bio regular fuzzly so I've just added pasta and this is what we have just going to let it cook and I'll skip to a final result And here is the finished dish.